So in today's video, we're going to talk about composite solids and how to calculate their volume and surface area. So imagine that you have something like this. Now, the reason why we call this a composite solid is because it's made up of two solids. One, as you can see, is a cylinder. The other, as you can see, is a hemisphere, which is basically half of a sphere. Now, as far as calculating volume is concerned, that's pretty straightforward. See the number of shapes that you have joined together, find out their volume and add them up. That's it. So for example, we have a cylinder and on top of cylinder, we have a hemisphere. Hemisphere. So we calculate the volume of cylinder, we calculate the volume of hemisphere using the correct formula and we add them up, that's it. Now suppose that you have a cone which is joined with the hemisphere, something like this. You have questions like these in past papers as well. How do we calculate the volume? Very simple. We calculate the volume of the cone, we calculate the volume of the hemisphere, we add them up, that's it, we have the volume of the total solid. Now, last example, what if we have something like this? This is basically a cube cube, and on top of it, we have a pyramid. Now, if you want to calculate the volume, once again, calculate the volume of the cube. Doesn't matter, by the way, if a shape is open from the top or closed, the amount of volume remains the same. And then you calculate the volume of the pyramid using the correct formula, add them up, that's it, you have the answer. The tricky part is to calculate the surface area, how to calculate the surface area. Now, the example that I like to give, the way that I like to teach this is very simple. So if you have have to calculate the surface area of a composite solid imagine as if you're literally holding the object in your hand and then see how many different faces or surfaces you can touch so for example if i want to calculate the total surface area of this solid so as i'm holding it i can see that i can touch one two three surfaces so that means the total surface area will come as a result of adding the area of three different faces. What those are, so you have the base, which is basically the area of a circle, you have the curved surface area of the cylinder, and you have the area of hemisphere. Don't just brainlessly, you know, see the two shapes that you have and find out the areas and add them up. We do that for volume. We still don't do that brainlessly, but that's what we do for volume. We don't do that for surface area. For surface area, if you think about it, if I do, let's say, area of cylinder plus area of hemisphere, then when we're calculating the total surface area of cylinder, this is a face which gets added and it's, it's not part of the actual shape. It's inside the shape, so that means we don't have to consider it. So once again, imagine you're holding the object in your hand and how many different faces can we touch? We can touch the base of the cylinder, which is the area of a circle, the curved surface area of the cylinder, which is 2 pi r h, and the area of hemisphere. So these are the three faces of which we will calculate the area and add them up. Now moving on, suppose you have something like this, where you have a cone and a hemisphere joined together. How will I calculate the total surface area? Once again, imagine you're holding the object in your hand, you can touch the curved surface area of the cone and you can touch the hemisphere. So how will we calculate the area? Curved surface area of the cone plus the area of hemisphere. That's it, add them up, you'll get the answer. Now you have sometimes some shapes like these also okay so i've seen questions like these in past papers as well once again don't just go about brainlessly and add the areas of the shapes that are joined together hold the object in your hand imagine as if you're holding the object in your hand and while you're doing so you can see that we can touch one two three three different faces Two of them are the same, and if you combine them, yes, you get a sphere, but here's a here's an easy way to think about it. So you have area of hemisphere plus the curved surface area of cylinder plus the area of hemisphere. And like I said, if you combine the two hemispheres, what do you get? You get a sphere. Now, last example, if you have something like this, once again, imagine you're holding the object in your hand and see how many different faces you can touch. So one, two, three, four, five. Five for the cube and one, two, three, four four for the pyramid. So add the five faces of the cube, add the areas of the four faces of the pyramid, add them up, that's it, you'll have the answer. So I hope it's clear and use this trick to find out the surface area of uh, any solid there is, no matter how complicated, you will be able to find out the correct area using this technique. So let me know what your thoughts are by commenting on this video below. That's it for this one, I'll see you in the next one.